Simon Yates was one of three British writers to win all of the men's three-week Grand Tours in the same year. On the other hand, the first ever women's stage race at the Vuelta en España, which took place over two days, made history more modestly. The men had a great stage in the mountains of Andorra, Cavadonga, and the Balcón de Biscaya. The women had a flat team time trial and then a sprinter circuit race around Madrid to show what they could do. In today's video, we'll talk about the best parts of women's grand tours. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to Cycling News Live. So why wait? Let's get into it. The Tour de France Femmes Results 2022 the first Tour de France Femmes with Zwift race took place from July 24th to July 31st. It had eight stages and began in Paris and ended on the La Superplanche de Béfia. The overall winner was Annemiek van Vluten of the Netherlands. She rode very well in the last two stages, which were in the mountains. Stage 1. Lorena Wiebes from Team DSM outsprinted Marianne Vos from Jumbo Visma to win Sunday's opening stage at the Tour de France Femme which took riders 82 kilometers on a Parisian circuit from the Eiffel Tower to the Champs-Élysées. Gladys Verhuls from La Col Wahoo made a strong solo move, but was caught in the last few kilometers. This set up a high-speed bunch kick. Anna Henderson of Jumbo Visma led the peloton for the last 300 meters, where her teammate Vos took off on the right side of the road and Weebs took off on the left. At first, the riders seemed to be about even, but as the finish line got closer, Vibas began to pull ahead. When the 23-year-old Dutch woman got to the finish line, she was a full bike length ahead of her fellow countrywoman. Behind them, Lottie Kopecky from SD Works beat Rochelle Barbieri from Live Racing Extra to take third place for the day. With her victory in Stage 1, Vibas became the first person to lead the race overall. Stage 2. In the second stage of the Tour de France Femmes, Marianne Vos, again from Jumbo Visma, won, making her the new overall leader of the race. Stage 3. Cecile Utrip Ludwig from FDJ Suez Futuroscope made up for her team's bad start to the Tour de France Femmes by beating Juan Marianne Vos in the uphill sprint in Ypernay. The win's a great comeback for the Danish national champion who lost a lot of time and her teammate, Marta Cavalli, in crashes in the first stage. Vos still has the yellow jersey even though she came in second, and Ashley Molman Pazio was third on the stage. Stage 4. After a day of high tension and many mechanical problems on the gravel roads of Champagne, Marlon Rousseau won stage 4 of the Tour de France Femmes by herself. Stage 5. Lorena Vibes of Team DSM took a spectacular second win at the Tour de France Femmes in saint de de Vosch, beating Elisa Balsamo from Trek Segafredo into second place and yellow jersey Marianne Vos, who's still representing Jumbo Visma, into third. Stage 6. Jumbo Visma's Marianne Vos extended her lead in the yellow jersey as she sprinted a victory in Rossheim in Friday, Stage 6 of the Tour de France Femmes. Stage 7. Saturday, second to last stage of the Tour de France. Animak van Vluten shocked the competitors when she won by herself in a thrilling solo race and took the yellow jersey for the first time. Stage 8. Animak van Vluten won the 2022 Tour de France Femmes after eight hard days of racing. She overcame illness in the early stages of the race to take commanding victory at the top of La Superplanche des Bay of Fields. After a strong climb on Stage 7, Von Vluten was put in yellow and had more than three minutes on Demi Vollering going into the last stage of the race. The SD Works writer and her team did everything they could to take the top spot, like using the team's strength and trying to take advantage of any weakness on the way down, but Von Vluten's climbing skills were just too good. Von Vluten went through the gravel near the top of the La Superplanche and into the steep finishing ramp by herself. She had plenty of time to enjoy the final victory while wearing the yellow jersey of the race leader. Vollering was again Von Vluten's closest competitor. She came in second on the stage 30 seconds behind Von Vluten, and this put her in second place overall. Cassia Nuadoma, representing Kenyan S. Ram, who finished third overall, was behind Sylvia Persico, representing Valkar Travel and Service, in third place on the stage. Giro Don 2022 In 2022, women's road cyclists competed in the 33rd annual Giro d'Italia Femenil. This race lasted from June 30, 2022 through July 10. Ten stages spanned more than 1,000 kilometers through northern Italy in what was the longest and one of the most prestigious races on the women's circuit. Stage 1 The Giro d'Italia Don starts with a flat time trial for each rider. 
and Cagliari, the capital of Sardinia, the riders will take on a 4.7 kilometer course. The 4.75 kilometer Cagliari track saw only one rider, Christian Faulkner from Bike Exchange Jayco, clock in at a speed of more than 49 kilometers an hour in 5 hours and 45 seconds. In addition to the stage win, Faulkner also earned the race's first Maglia Rosa. Stage 2 Stage 2 doesn't give the riders too many challenges. This is because they learn from what went wrong last year when an early mountain stage pretty much decided the general classification before the race even started. From Villa Simias to Tortol, Alicia Balsamo, representing Trek Segafredo, took the victory on the first road stage of the Yero di Italia Don 2022. Stage 3 this stage is the first opportunity the pure sprinters have to take to win in the Giro d'Italia Don 2022. The route heads along the coastline from the town of Dorgali and finishes in Olbia after the riders have covered 112.7 kilometers. Marianne Vos, who won the stage ahead. Stage 4, after a rest day, which allows the riders to transfer back to the continent, the race continues in Emilia-Romagna with a rolling stage. The route starts and ends in the town of Cecina. Along with the 120.9 km course, there are three GPM sprints. Animak van Vluten, Marta Cavalli, and Mavi Garza set off. It's a stage win and the pink jersey for van Vluten. Stage 5. At stage 5, which goes from Carpi to Reggio Emilia and is 123.4 kilometers long, the sprinters get a second chance. The route goes through some hills on the slopes of the Apennines. Marianne Vos took career win number 32 at the Hero d'Italia Don after an incredible finish to stage 5. Stage 6. At the halfway point of the race, the 6th and 7th stages of the Hero d'Italia Don go through the region of Lombardy. The first of these stages is a rolling 114.7 kilometer stage. In Stage 7, the most challenging point of the race so far, it's a 113.2 km route that begins at Prevel at an altitude of 190 meters. The riders will then go into the city of Brescia and climb up the Alps to the Paso del Maniva, which is more than 1,600 meters above sea level. Animak von Vluten recovered from a crash on the final descent to win Stage 7 of the Euro d'Italia Don in Aldeno. Stage 8 after Stage 7's tough course, the riders have a 92.2 km stage in the province of Trento the next day, which is a bit shorter. The route for the day starts in the town of Roberto and ends in the town of Aldeno. Von Vluten stamps authority with a solo victory here. Stage 9, if it hasn't already been decided by this point, Stage 9 of the Euro Dawn in 2022 could be the one that decides the overall winner. The route starts in San Michel Al Adij, which is on the eastern side of the Brenta Dolomites, and goes up for 112.8 kilometers. Kristen Faulkner won Stage 9 with a solo attack. Stage 10. The final race of the Euro d'Italia Don, which has been going on for 10 days, will be in Veneto. This stage is for fast riders and it goes from Ibano Turme to Padua over 90.8 kilometers. Italy's Chiaro Consoni, representing Valcar Travel and Service, hovered in the top 10 through many of the race stages, finally winning stage 10 on the last day of racing. So that's going to do it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more incredible videos from us and thanks for watching. Us and